Hi, everyone. <clears throat> All right. Is anyone there? Anyone in chat or are you all lurking today? So I'm going to do a little bit of finishing for my March um, folder. And then I'm going to be um, doing some creatures. <laughs> Hey, Leslie. Are you new? I don't remember seeing your name before. Hi, Lori. And I might start my April folder, too. Hey, Hottie. It's Susan, right? I'm terrible with names. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> well, one good thing, eh? You get to come on YouTube and watch the lives. Hi, Elaine. Hey, Janet. You're going to play along? Awesome. Oh, good. Popo or Susan. I'll try and remember that. <laughs> I won't promise, though, because my... Names and faces, and especially uh, different names. Uh, not good at that at all. I finally get to see my favorite. <laughs> awesome. Hey, Jilly. Kim. So hope everyone is doing well and not going too stir crazy. Thank goodness the good weather's here. We can get out into our yards or take a walk around the block. I love this time of year. It's my favorite, I think. Get to clean out the gardens and see all the new stuff coming up. The birds are chirping and it's awesome. The only thing I don't like are the bunnies. Because <laughs> they eat my flowers. They're terrible. So I got a bunch of um, wire and stuff like that around my stuff that they love. We had, you had a blizzard? Yes. Oh, Jilly, I'm so sorry. Oh, how depressing. I know they're talking about it getting cold next week. Um, they're even going down to minus two. So I'm hoping that doesn't come with any snow. Uh, it's it's such a mean thing Mother Nature does to you. you. They give you this beautiful weather. Your stuff is coming up and then bam. <laughs> That was like an April Fool's joke, Jilly. No, that wasn't very nice. So I, I just thought I'd finish this up. Um, you guys have seen it. And this is my pocket. I haven't written anything yet. Um, made this little, I don't know what you call it tag I guess I don't know and these are some of the spring things um, we did this last week and that was done on watercolor paper and a few die cuts I put on and then I pasted it onto this jelly print um, just a little I'm gonna probably write in this area and then I we did this, I think, the week before last. 
and we did two. One, this was watercolor and ink, and this was acrylic. And then we used, um, this was tissue paper that I crumpled up and made it look like a, you know, how you can get your bulbs wrapped. And then there's some twine. And then this one was uh, newspaper. So you can do it with newspaper too. And um, these would be really cute. Just, you know, in little frames, you could do all kinds of different bulbs or birds and bulbs, all kinds of things. So I thought I would, um, I was thinking of putting a little pocket in here so I could slide this in. I went through my scrapbook paper and found this one. How appropriate is this? I think it's perfect. So I'm, hi Lita. So I'm gonna put a little pocket in so I can slide that in. So I don't want to tape it in in case I want to use it, like frame it or something. So I'm going to be, let's see, how much do I want? I think I'll do this side. Yeah. So probably... Do just a really shallow pocket, really. Just something to slide it in. So we'll just do it something like that. I'm writing up. So I'll. So use up your paper or magazine pictures you could do. Um, I think I got some tape left. Uh, where did I put that? Hmm. I have such a mess on here. <laughs> you wouldn't have believed it. I was down here getting all my collage stuff ready for today. Because I didn't want to, you know, sit there and go through all kinds of... Uh, books and magazines and stuff. Keep you waiting. Wouldn't be very nice. Then I'm going to put the, let's see, probably hmm, some, what's this one? Washi tape. Okay. That should work. Get your washi tape out. I know if you're anything like me, I have a bunch of it and I don't, I, I shouldn't say I don't use it, but the only thing I use it on are my um, diary type. Um, visual journals. Let's see. Just trim it. And then you can just slide it in. Like that. So that's cute. I'll put some more on there just in case it doesn't stick. I 
nothing fancy. Just go for it. If you don't, if you want something very precise, that's fine. But me, I'm just going to do this. You can use um, pieces of paper to make washi if you want. Um, there's really no wrong way of doing these folders. It's whatever you like to do. Or maybe it'll be something you want to try. You haven't done something before. There. Then I can, uh, I could put something on here if I want to later. Um, if I find something that I want from, maybe from um, the newspaper, clippings about this month, could go in there. It's really endless what you can do. So that's March. So it's it's kind of fluffy. <laughs> it's a little bit fluffy, but it's not bad. Now, for April, um, it's all about spring and so I I've got this paper here. It's got the birds and the apple blossoms. Actually. So I could use that. And then I could draw something in the center here. So Don't think you can't draw or add to your your paper. You could even do stenciling on top of this if you wanted to. It's really endless. If you have some really nice um, magazine images, use those. So I could do that. So that would cut off here. Or I could fold it across too. Maybe I'll do that. Needs to be. Let's see my pencil. Um, the market. Got it. Okay. Oh, I can't even see it. Thought I marked it. Let me know. Oh, there it is. So I'm going to just put this on here. And then I can cut around it or I could do that so I get the full. And then just put washi tape on there. That might be better because I don't want to cut this flower out. I keep forgetting these darn folders are crooked. Nothing worse. And I wish I had my, I don't know where I put my tape. Oh well. So I'm going to put 
glue on this one. I like to put glue on the paper too. It just seems to stick a little better and stay stuck. All right. So anyone else doing the folders? If you are, I would really appreciate it if you could um, on Twitter or Instagram hashtag cast art folders so I could see them. So I'd love to see what you guys are doing. Look at that. Look at that. How that makes me crazy. Now I'm going to have to put washi tape on there. Let's see where Actually, I think I'll use this. This one too. I think it's really pretty. So I could just do the edge in that. That would be pretty. Or should I do the eggs? Where is that there? Eggs on it. Where I just used it. I don't know where I put it. I did one and a half of one. He <laughs> did one, did one and a half of one. Oh, yeah, you did the um, Michelangelo one, and you started another one, I mean. That's good. It's awesome. They are fun. It's nice to have your... A one area where you can see what what happened each month in your creative endeavors. <laughs> so what kind of theme did you do, Eileen? Now that's going to be crooked. I know it. I think I'm going to take it out a bit. Right there. Um, I use, I'm using a Stamperia paper. Oh, nice. I still haven't gotten my papers yet. I'm going to have to find out what's going on. I hope they didn't close and then forget about me. <laughs> Good.
So this is just basically to get me started. I can get some ideas off the colors. That's basically what I'm doing is um, I use the colors, or I try to, you don't have to, but um, use the colors that you've put on your covers. Okay, so then I can just cut around the edge because my darn folders are so crooked. Don't buy dollar store folders. They're a dollar for a reason. I guess if you're just filing, it doesn't much matter, but yeah, not good. Uh, please, no stress. I'm an essential worker and I'm on the one week. Yeah, try to keep it to a minimum. We do have a lot of stressed out people. So I kind of like to keep it stress-free arting I realize a lot of you are on your own and maybe you need somebody to talk to Okay, so I'm going to have to put a piece of tape around. See, look at how crooked that is. So, let's see. What can I use? I don't have my washi tape down here. So, I think, or I could use that same one here. What other ones do I have? Hey, Kathy. Hey, Zandra. Good to see everyone here. Um, hey, Nana. Nope, needs to be dark. Maybe this one. I can still cover this up if I don't want it with paper.
That looks all right. A little something. I'll probably co cover the um, might just do a border on that instead. I don't like that. Maybe I'll just do a border. All right, so I haven't done anything inside. I haven't got anything ready but it's start. So I can put lace down there if I wanted to. So I, you probably have a ton of these things. <laughs> I do. So you could use all these. You can make your own if you have um, different um, die cuts or a die cut machine. So like I could Put that down there. You know, there's all kinds of different things. There's these. Get your stuff out and use it. But we'll, uh, next week we'll probably do more on the cover and um, I'll have some more stuff to put inside of it. For now, I think I'm going to leave it. So that's how you start. Just put whatever you want on it. Papers. Anything. don't have to go out and buy stuff. Just use what you have. Use your um, stamps and make a cover with stamps. That would be really neat, too. Now, <laughs> yesterday I spent, I don't know how long, and... I thought how fun would it be to make some creatures and we could put these in our folders too you could photocopy them after you made them So these are all from books. I remember the um, books that had the quotes in them and stuff. Most of them are from there. Um, this was actually, uh, <laughs> it was a National Geographic. It was about angry birds. <laughs> it was actually kind of funny. Um, Just tells you what the rap sheet is, <laughs> which is, I think, funny. Well, we could use these. And I was um, looking on Pinterest. Look at this guy. Doesn't he look like <laughs> a cartoon character? It's a bug. It's a stick bug. 
So I thought we could use some of these and make some um, kind of funny characters out of them. So I was uh, <laughs> looking through all my um, Pinterest. I had a bunch of Pinterest um, saved collage creatures that people have been doing and thought, okay, I want to try that. So if you want any ideas, you can go on my Pinterest, it's Kathy Arbor on Pinterest, and it's under creatures. And <laughs> I had some calendars, here's some heads and um, bodies and stuff too. Um, this was a calendar, I think 2015. It was a dollar store calendar. And I thought we could do, <laughs> sometimes it's just one thing that's needed. Now you can either cut out the character or you can use the whole thing. But this was an actual owl and he was all wet. <laughs> so I thought, okay, I'm going to cut the head out. Why not make an owl? sea turtle <laughs> you can make some really funny looking creatures and we could actually you know paint other things in there if you wanted to <laughs> and I thought that would be so cute <laughs> we can make people you could put people bodies on <laughs> it's endless they're fun. We need a laugh. So I thought it'd be fun to do that today. <laughs> so these um, creatures you can actually if you want to use them more than once, just photocopy your creatures and then um, <laughs> like, why are you getting in his eyes? <laughs> like, he, he's telling a story. I thought they were so funny. So we can probably do some stuff with those. There was that one. And then I had this guy. And I think I'll cut him out. There was a giraffe head. And then there was a bear. And the bear was sitting in the snow. So why don't we give the giraffe. <laughs> now we can have them. Could be down low. Or. We could have a neck. <laughs> and he's waving high. <laughs> I think they're cute. So we can cut this all out and paste it somewhere if you wanted to. But they're fun. I thought they were so fun. And then, um, you know, if you really want to get really detailed and make it look like it's real, then you could use paint. To paint, oh, what am I doing? Paint in uh, the areas. That was dumb. Now I have to put it on paper. If you go and look for them on um, Pinterest, oh my God, there's some. Fantastic looking one. I want to do more of them. I think they're a laugh. There, I'll just put it on here for now. And then we can uh, cut it out, put it on another. <laughs> thing. There. <laughs> And the trick of it is fi find the body that has the same color of whatever you're going to use in it. And then it looks a little more 
um, realistic. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> I think they're good. Uh, I love doing these. I used to do these. And how about a catfish? <laughs> well, there's Nemo, but we'll make him into a catfish. There we go. <laughs> I think they're cute. Who doesn't love a catfish? <laughs> so if you got lots of um, animal books or these cats I got out of that um, uh, kitten book. I think Dee Dee's got it. And I cut out a few of them <laughs> because they're so funny. You gotta have a laugh. So we can use him somewhere. We could actually put, put little faces on these. Let's do that. Where's my black? You could have little faces. Yep. <laughs> it's fun. It's so fun. There, you can make <laughs> little faces on the guys. <laughs> but the, aren't they fun? Like, and then we could we could cut these out if you wanted to, and we could put them in um um <laughs> make underwater scenes in abandoned places. <laughs> Here's another one. <laughs> Little bulldog looking up. This is an owl that I cut out. So we could either have it there. I could cut the bulldog. So here, let's cut the bulldog out. Uh, <laughs> I think they're so funny. And they were fun. They're fun. You can get your imagination really going <laughs> when you're doing these. Now, these would be cute for if you put human heads on, too. Or um, use parts of their face on the dog. Give the dog human eyes or a pig nose. Or <laughs> it's, it's endless, people. What you can do. Okay, I'm going to. So get your books and magazines out. And see if you can find animal pictures. Like, And it's don't limit it to just animals. You can use people and animals, birds, fish. Um, flowers. I'll do a flower one too. Um, really, anything. <laughs> okay, so we can put this guy on here like this. And then you can always, um, <laughs> my version of an Ewok. <laughs> They're funny. 
But see what I've done? I've got the, the cream and the tan in the face so it matches the dog. <laughs> hmm. Hey, Gigi, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> I think they're cute. Let's see what else I got. Oh, this was funny. <laughs> okay, nice owl picture. <laughs> what a chihuahua owl. <laughs> <laughs> Janet, what are you doing? You said you were going to play along. Oh, I bet you weren't thinking of this. Here. <laughs> I could take paint and actually blend it in. I'll, I'll probably do that when I cut these all up. Oh, this one's really simple. Here's a, a nice wolf. And I got a beak off of a baby chick. And this just worked out perfect. <laughs> Not good. It kind of looks like, like I won't have to do anything to that one. It looks like he really has a beak. I think they're so cool. This one. Oh, I just lost his head. <laughs> Where'd it go? Okay. This one, nice deer. So you got the same colors again. There, put a cat's face on them. <laughs> oh, sorry, Ange. <laughs> but doesn't that look like he really has a, a face of a cat? I think that looks so cool. Oh, yes. This one. I thought... I have a fish. Now I could, I was thinking of either having a fish head or the birds with the fish body. Suppose I could cut the bird. Let's see, what would be easier to cut out? Oh, 
think I'll cut the fish out. So you just have to go through your books <laughs> and um, see what you can dream up. Just, if you need some um, inspiration, what other people's have done, I've got a huge <laughs> um, Pinterest board of creatures. So you can go and look on. It's under Kathy Arbor. And I'm going to keep the background because I could probably use it in my books as um, <laughs> in my abandoned places. So I think I'm going to use some as underwater and gardens, that type of thing. Um, just so it's, di it's different. <laughs> Okay. Now, let's see where, if I can get this in right. So I want to match up the head. So that will probably work. I'm going to cut this bird out too. Mm. I have a ton of <laughs> different different things to to cut out i've been collecting calendars and books for quite a few years we don't get the calendars that dd Dee Dee gets so whenever i see any of these on sale or um most of the time I get them from the dollar store because they're really flimsy paper, but that's good for me because I'm just, I want them actually a little thinner. Okay, there's my bird. So let's see. Probably make a mark. Right here. Right here. Okay. You kind of kind of I guess you could cut it out or rip it. You don't want a straight line because you'll notice that. Um, now I could just put it over top of here. Actually, cut this fin up. Tuck that under a little bit. See, it almost matches. Okay, so I'll just put... Mm 
And I'll just trim it. There. It's my fish bird. <laughs> It kind of looks like it's part of them because of the colors. Like I'm keeping the color to match. That's the key. <laughs> okay, let's see what everyone's saying. Colleen's cleaning your oven? Yuck. <laughs> like Lena. All right, so those are the ones I did that I looked through to find what would match. Now we could probably put something with this one. Let's see. We have a chicken head. Let's see, you can't do that because it's not the same color. Now, what I'll find is, mm, I'm not sure. That'd be a, a tough one because of the color. <laughs> Here's one. This, this was actually like this. They have their head right bent back. It was in one of those books, but you can always go like that. <laughs> we could do him. <laughs> oh, I forgot one. This guy. This is an easy one. The snail. And I put a slit in here and I got a snake head. A snail snake. Let's put the his little antennas on his head too. Like that. Like, see, you can do so much. It's fun. Yeah, I've got a lot of turkeys, but <laughs> they're fun. So let's let's put him down. I think we'll keep him. I have um, chicken um, calendar, but it's all art. It's not like photographs. And I, I would want photographs. So it looks a little better. There. So that's that guy. Now, what else we got here? So we have this one. We have an owl. Like you could put an owl's head on top of this. 
somehow. No, maybe not. <laughs> Is this this guy? Cat bird. That might work. My cat bird. Because it's got brown in it. <laughs> That's cute. Hey, hey, Devin. We're making creatures today. Having some fun. There. My cat bird. You know that little chirping sound they make when they're looking at cats? That's what it sounds like. <laughs> Let's put whiskers on him. He needs whiskers. So we could put him on a, on a bigger page and put the feet on. See, and he would have he would have fit on this one. <laughs> Little feet. There's our cat bird. Let's see, what can we do with this guy? What else I got here? The rhino heads. Oh, Let's see. <laughs> or here's the here's the piece that I took the mm. oh here. Here's the body. This is the body of a, a cat that I it was a wild cat, lynx maybe. Um, <laughs> he's, he's looking behind him. <laughs> to this guy. Let's see if we cover his. No, that won't work. I'd have to cut out part of his back.
Yeah, the monkey. That would have to be something very dark. Here's a fiddlehead. And what could we put on that? Side. Oh. It takes a while to go through things. There's a lady we could probably do this one. Let's see. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Put the chicken in her hand. <laughs> yeah, I could do that. I want to see what I can do with this. I'm just going to make a slip. Cut along the coat line. <laughs> <laughs> Rhinoceros lady. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see. <laughs> She's keeping the chicken warm. <laughs> Yeah, you like that coffee? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> See, you do some funny things. 
Oh, God. It's <laughs> 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 funny. <laughs> Let's see what else. Let's see what this one looks like. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, God. You can do all kinds of weird things with it. It's too funny. Oh, God. <laughs> what else have we got here? Let's see what the owl would look like. Here's an owl person. <laughs> Need them facing a certain way. <laughs> That's not the right way. You gotta, you gotta think about your um, your positioning of the, like the perspective of it too, for it to look right. So she's facing sideways. So you gotta basically find something that's also facing in the same direction. Let's see. That one might <laughs> work. Let's see what else we had here. Well, there's a good one. <laughs> I think I'm going to use that one. So you can add these two um, <laughs> backgrounds so that it it's kind of looks a little more like it belongs somewhere. and you could, Or you could just add them to your journal pages just for fun. Okay, I wanted to cut the teeth out. Let's see what. There. <laughs> Big bad wolf, but it's a lion this time. <laughs> it's 
Do we have his ears sticking out or in? Got to get her face. I guess I could cut the face off, but like that. Yeah, <laughs> woman, hear me roar. <laughs> That's a good one, Devin. Okay, let's put that one on. <laughs> See how fun they are? Right. There. A little red riding hood. <laughs> That's a good one. You could tell a story. Make a story up. Uh, Cass wanted to. Cass wanted to know. Oh yeah, are you are you playing along, Janet? <laughs> hey, you gotta get some, Janet. They're fun. Oh my God, they're fun. Oh, you know, I just looked at this. <laughs> that looks like a dress. You could put a, a lady's. Doesn't that look like a, a ball gown? That could be. See, she's facing a certain way, so you're going to have to use um, and the right size, too. Okay, let's, what can we do with her? This is cute too. I want to use him on something. It's, but see, I'm going to have to use something black and white. I guess I could put, this is cute. What could we put with him? Put a bird or a cat. <laughs> that one's funny. He almost looks like he's flying. We could use him flying. Let's see. We could put this eagle's head on him. Let's see what we can do with this guy. See, we could actually have use those wings on something. Hopefully this will work out.
so we could probably cut or um, he can be let me think I need some wings uh, okay we need some <laughs> these books are are awesome. <laughs> Got to get some of these. This is really cool. Um, butterfly wings would be a good one. Let's see. You know, I have one on just butterflies somewhere. I think that would be too. Oh, well, maybe this will work. Smaller ones. Let's see. Okay. Give him. We could make um, bug bodies too. No, <laughs> I just had a good, good thought of one with that stick bug. No, that's not going to work. No, I guess I could. Making him hmm, like that. Let's see what else we can find. Birds, I know. Do I have any birds with wings open? Let's make this a little bit front of book again, class. Oh, rainforest. There's the rainforest, there's one on butterflies, there's one on frogs. Um, let's see if there's any dragonflies in here. That would look cool. I suppose I could an angle something. Let's see. Let's see. Use this wing in some way. Uh, if you don't put a head on the fox, it could look like he's hiding into his... 
he is. That's exactly what he was doing. That's the book. That's the act, that he was actually. I don't know. He jumped and was heading head first into the snow. This is the way it was in the book. <laughs> but I just thought it would look cool. Putting wings on him. It looked like he was flying. I could just do that. Or should I have? Let's see. I kind of kind of want to see if there's any um, dragonflies in here. Might be. There's bugs. Snakes. Piters. <laughs> He'd be good. I like that head. I'll use him on something. See any dragonfly wings? That's butterflies, parrots. No, oh, he will just keep his wing. Super, super fox. Let's see. You can put him in <laughs> something. So you can save all of these after you've played with them. Then we can color them too. Now he needs underwear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bandex. <laughs> well, where was that? Let's cut this head out. We can always add his antennae later, so I'm not going to cut those. And it would be like too. What can we put on? <laughs> Got a 
to find something for her. New kind of octopus. <laughs> Chloe, stop. Go, go upstairs. Where was that? That's garbage. Chickens. All right, let's see. I'm just going to cut this lady out, see what I can dream up. We could put these guys on um, in in some kind of <clears throat> background also. Maybe I'll take out my book. See what we can put them in. I was thinking a new kind of bird. <laughs> Any nuns? No, I don't. <clears throat> Where would I get nuns? Don't see too many pictures of nuns. I was thinking, let's get my book out and see. Uh, I was thinking of using this American Ruins. Because I have seen people use black and white with color, and it looks really cool. I have the little ears. No, she's too big. 
Um, they're all black and white pictures. She's jumping over the <laughs> She's jumping over the river. Climbing. <laughs> Painting. She's <laughs> trying to paint. <laughs> She needs to fix that bad boy up. <laughs> Let's see what else. Jumping, jumping off. Uh, what you got? A uh, flying fox, the red hooded riding hood, a fishy hummingbird, and don't know where to get nuns. <laughs> I know. It's weird, isn't it? <laughs> You'd think. But you just don't see a whole lot of nuns around doing her exercises. Got to be a way of using this. Oh. If I could find a monkey head, I could have her hanging off the tree. <laughs> that would work. She's swinging from the trees. Hey, Debbie. Have her standing on a tree limb. Yeah, I could do that. Here's another. Or it looks like she's she's trying to steady herself. In a very awkward way. <laughs> she's balancing. I could cut her in half and she's coming out of the hole. <laughs> she's reaching. Help. So it's like that. <laughs> uh. 
I was thinking of using this book as um, underwater because all these ruins remind me of the ruins underwater and I could have fish and stuff. I think that's what I'm going to do. I can put her in another book. I'm going to use this as an underwater theme. Don't you think that would look cool? And you could white, you could put a um, ink wash of blue and greens on it so it looks like um, underwater. And you can have fish going through. <clears throat> That's what I'm going to use this for. Um, this one we had I started doing this where is it do you put her in <laughs> she's walking through the water and the, and the chimpanzees swinging from the trees You could be trying to walk, <laughs> skip across the water. She's falling from a plane. <laughs> yeah, that's what she looks like. She's falling. <laughs> She's falling, and then I, <laughs> I got an idea. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna glue her down. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm going to glue her down. And then <laughs> I should go like that. Yeah, I'll do it like this. Well, I guess I should have cut. Oh, well. I should have cut that center out, but I didn't. Now, what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, white paint, Posca. Oh, yeah, an umbrella would be good, too. I was thinking of balloons. <laughs> Only on a bunch of balloons. <laughs> But yeah, where I know I've seen um, umbrellas in one of those books. Um, let me think. <clears throat> okay, gotta be in one of these. I remember seeing. Them. Was in here somewhere. Um, talk among yourselves while I find my umbrella. I'm pretty sure it was in here.
I know it was one of these. Kite. <laughs> Kite. And then you could have a <laughs> thing going like that. Uh, oh, and she has a pilot. <laughs> oh, dear. This is fun. Let's see. I think it's this one. Let's see it. Oh, is that? No. No, it's not in there. Oh, there we go. Do I have one that I can use? Let's see. Red. So if you want, you could, you know, you could have painted one of these. Um, <laughs> Put a can of that drink cleaner. <laughs> what do you think, kite or or the um, umbrella? Umbrella? Okay. Okay. 
It's like, woo <laughs> You can do all kinds of funny stuff. You could have the super bird fox coming to save her. <laughs> coming to save the day. What other things we got here? Um, here we have a bee. Cut the bee out, have giant bees. Could have people coming out of these things. <laughs> Could have a cat. Where's my? <laughs> Giant chicken. <laughs> Instead of King Kong, it's um, the chicken. <laughs> Could put him right there. There, the dust is coming up from where he was. <laughs> Let's do that. I'm just cutting a, a bunch of uh, so it looks more like he's um, coming out of the <laughs> forest. <laughs> there you go, Colleen, your chicken. King Kong chicken. With all those GMOs, too. <laughs> Eventually, it, it makes these giant chickens be really awesome uh, chicken legs. <laughs> you could have had a Weird looking. Creature coming out of the woods. <laughs> yeah, bird fox is on his way. I'll have to cut him out. It's got to go in somewhere. Definitely. You could use, <laughs> you can use these for just, you know, putting in your, your diary. Like they're really cute for just something to fill in the spaces and it's fun. It makes you smile. So 
you know, make up a bunch of them. If you really like certain ones, then make a photocopy of them. And then you can use them over and over again. If, if, is he still here? We could make mermaids too. There. It's like <laughs> a new version of Godzilla. <laughs> Gonna get him. It's on his way. We could have them standing up. Here, it looks like he's looking at them. It's like, and what if a neat one could have a cat coming in? Let's see what else we got here. Um, So you can have stuff hanging down off of there. They're fun. <laughs> it's just a new uh, type of animal. This is his legs. Where is that? Him too. Where did I put him? <laughs> Just flying across the land. Taking a look. Like, <laughs> they're so fun. New type of monkey. <laughs> oh dear. Ooh, he looks fierce. There you go. Some
sometimes you don't even need paint. Let's <laughs> just play. This is fun. Plants eating them. <laughs> Little vampire plant. in the water. <laughs> There's that. Little pig nose. <laughs> there, I like that one. That's cute. A little pig nose. <laughs> oh, good heavens. Chloe, I'll be done in a minute. Not even time yet. Frogs. Leaves. Could have all kinds of stuff on there. Could have the little snail snake <laughs> crawling along there. All right, just a minute. I have to go, guys. They're both whining. They're getting spoiled through all of this stuff. Me being there constantly with them. So they don't like it when I'm not taking them outside all the time and feeding them all the time. I'm going to take that baby snail off. I know, Coco. There's my... My snail snake. Or it could be on here. <laughs> so many ways you can do this. Where'd that thing go? It goes. Crocodiles.
could have somebody riding on that one. <laughs> Find something. Yeah, so I just thought I would show you all those. <laughs> it's fun. It's, it's good to laugh. <laughs> Silly. There's a good one. Could put a duck bill on here and then the eye in the center. That would be cool. Here, new type of weird plant. <laughs> yeah, it is. I got it for five bucks. I had it on sale. It's like Expensive book, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to draw with, and like, I can see fairies jumping on these. That would be cool to paint. That's my idea, anyways. So That's my fun for today. <laughs> I'll probably be dreaming up more of these guys. Um, oh. I'm dreaming up some of these. They're so much fun. Like we've got to use that somewhere. <laughs> like, I love that. So there's that. There's my fish bird. My cat, <laughs> deer, <laughs> my uh, chicken dog, and my little chihuahua <laughs> bird, <laughs> my new Ewok, <laughs> my cat bird, or my catfish. I'm not sure what this one is. <laughs> and <laughs> a deep underwater uh, fish bird or turtle bird. Turtle hawk. I'll call him a turtle hawk. That's it. <laughs> so we got to use these. They're so much fun. So give it a try and post them. Creatures. Hashtag it. Uh, Cass's creatures. And I want to see them. <laughs> so that be funny. So you guys uh, just get out there and do, and do some fun stuff. And um, try to keep things light and, and fun. And uh, be creative, and it'll relieve a lot of stress. And try not to watch the news too much, because that, that's not good for you. So take care, everybody. Love you all. And uh, we'll, I might come back on, um, I don't know, this weekend or something. A deer cat, not a um, mere cat, a deer cat. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> All right. So take care, everybody. And we'll uh, probably see you this weekend, hopefully. Bye, all.